I think rowing is one of those unique sports where, um, say for maybe an individualized sport like swimming or even a team sport like ice hockey, you know, you have all your, your different athletes with different talents and different um, specialties and things. Um, with rowing, everybody has one specialty and you've got to be rowing together exactly in the same form or you're not going to get anywhere. So in that respect, it's, it's, um, it's pretty unique. Up over heads, ready up. Show heads. Down shoulders. It's very unique. I think it's probably one of the biggest team sports that you could play um, or I guess participate in. We literally can't move without everyone being like of the same mind and like communicating together. Um, and I, that's my personal favorite part of um, the sport. Just the mental toughness of it all. Um, when I first joined or came to the interest meeting like my freshman year, they were like, uh, people come, but most people will just quit after the first week or whatever. It's a pretty tough sport. Like they didn't sugarcoat it at all. And I think that's what intrigued me. And after the first week when people did start quitting, after it was like, uh, I just don't want to be one of those people. I just wanted to keep going. And I think that's what I really enjoy is that I'm just around people that are the same mindset as me and they just want to keep pushing to be better and better. Like most sports, crew has its own uniqueness. And while most of the campus of Liberty is asleep, this group is up early training to help them perfect their craft as they have been preparing and waiting for this upcoming season. We definitely get out there early to get that calm water, um, just especially where we row in particular, it's very open. And so if we get um, any type of wind that builds up over the lake, we'll get, um, it could be like big white caps. So that's why we, we try to get out there in the, in the early morning. But you know, when, when we're out there rowing and um, just working really hard, it, it really is rewarding. Um, and where we row, we have some beautiful sunrises over the mountains, uh, that's, that's rewarding. And just to get that feeling of teamwork and just knowing that um, you know, we're rowing for each other and with each other. Um, and it's ultimately we're trying to get to the same goal uh, together. I don't mind the early mornings. I like the fact that um, once I'm done with practice, I'm done with practice and I can go on with um, the rest of my day. Like I don't have to worry about it, it's out of the way. And it is really satisfying. You get to watch the sunrise over the mountains and that's really cool. So you start in like pitch black and then go um, and row through the sunrise. That's fantastic, I love that. Part. One more minute ladies, one more minute. Trying to practice and train through that much without racing season is really hard. So I think especially for the returners, that was really important that we were able to get on the water and like have some good races and like consistent races and race in the same boats. Um, that was really nice and I think it really set us up for a good winter um, because they had something to look forward to for the spring of like we want to make these boats better. It's probably the toughest part of the year perhaps, I mean we just working hard constantly, just trying to condition ourselves, get ready for the spring uh, and our sprints. And I think the team did a great job. I saw a lot of improvement uh, just from the fall into even like the first week of our training. I think people are, and are getting down how to row and like getting to the little things. And yeah, I think we're becoming a closer team through that, obviously with it being so tough. Rowing is a grind sport. You've got to put in the training. We really have to focus on getting that good aerobic base, and we so we spend a lot of time on the ergs. It does get to feel like a little bit of drudgery, just day in and day out, um, and also to not getting injured with all the repetitive motions. So we, we have to we have to you know play it well and and smart, um, so we don't overtrain but we, we just kind of hit that sweet spot of good training. Um, it was nice, we saw a lot of improvements, people just kind of honing in things and, and getting faster. You know, once we got on the water, you could see that that, that work over the winter really, really helped and, and just be ready to move forward. So it's worth it. With the Flames now heading into their first spring season since 2020, they are looking to make a strong push in their first spring back but they are also striving to continue to grow the family-like culture that they have been able to create for the program. We are an athletic team, so the goal, um, I guess, is to win for everyone, but I think the bigger goal is more of a lot of um, our teammates um, look for home and community here. Um, they come to practice and these are some of their best friends. And I think building a community where you just wake up at four in the morning and you just come as you are um, and we're going to love you and we're going to accept the way um, that you come and also push you though. Push you to be a better athlete, push you to be a better student, person. That's really important too because um, like what else are we here for but to push each other. 
um, towards that. Just to grow uh, as a team and help each other just be better people, better rowers. We want to keep getting this team to be bigger and better every year. Hopefully, hopefully we can get more people to be interested in rowing and how fun it is to be with all these people. It's funny, you know, looking back on your athletes and looking back on their career, you know, you remember those wins, you remember some losses, but really the big thing that you remember are the people. You remember your roommates, you remember who you had breakfast with every day in and day out. You remember who you sat with um, on the bus, you know, comparing blisters of your hands, you know, that, those are the things that you really remember. And so I feel like that's rewarding to me as a coach to see that, you know, you can have some impact on people's relationships and, and things that not only happen on the squad but outside of it as well.